folks, and welcome to my first official overnight camp. I'm in the Namaji National Park, and today I'm making the ascent to Mount Jindra, which is the second highest peak in Namaji. Whew, I've just done the first section, probably the first 200 metres of Stockyard Spur. Got about another 1.8 k's to go of straight up 500 metre elevation gain. It's an absolute leg burner. I've got 25 kilos on my back, and it's gonna be interesting. I've done this twice. Each time it's killed me, and I think today's gonna be probably the hardest with all this weight. But I cannot wait to get up to the top of Jindra, set up camp, and uh, get some photography. So let's crack on and get up there, tackle the spur. Well, Stockyard Spur, done and dusted. That was absolute murder. Definitely the hardest ascent of Stockyard I've done. With 25 kilos on the back, it really makes it a lot harder. So where I am now is called the helipad. Uh, it's just at the top of Stockyard Spur. We're at about 1,500 meters elevation here. So I've got approximately, I think, seven and a half, eight k's to go to the summit of Jindra. I'll stop at Prize Hut, which is uh, probably three or four k's from here and uh, have a little bit of afternoon tea. I've just had a snack then, some jelly beans, which was nice. Get, uh, get some energy back into me. And hopefully we can make it to the top of Jindra before sunset. It's 2.30 now, sunset's 5.30. I reckon I should be able to get up there in about two, two and a half hours. The hardest part is over, and I'm glad it is. Onwards and upwards from here, let's do it. Time to move on. Ginger out in the distance there. It's 3.30, I reckon I'm up there in an hour. About to pass Prize Hut, but I'm not gonna stop there now because I wanna make it for sunset. On the way back tomorrow, I'll show you Prize Hut. All right, Ginger, see you soon. Let's go. I'm just at the base of Ginger now, about to turn off onto the summit track. It's four o'clock, should be there at 4.30. So I've made really good time, I'm happy. I was a bit worried, but I should be able to be there at 4.30, be able to set up camp, and then have a bit of a hunt around for a nice composition for sunset. Not many clouds about. I don't think it's gonna be a very uh, amazing sunset, but I can't really uh, complain being at the top of uh, the ACT. So it should be good. Now just here is a nice, little creek and it just comes past it just flows under the uh, the road here and there's a beautiful little cascade there and I filled up my water bottle last time so 
I was kind of hoping that would be there. I've had plenty of rain, it's been a very wet summer. It's been quite a dry April, but we had a very wet March, so there's still heaps of moisture around, which is good. So I'll fill up my water now, and I'll see you at the top. Well, this is it folks, we're at the top of Ginger, I made it, fantastic, it's a bit of a breeze, it's starting to cool down, I'm going to find a campsite, set up the tent, then we're going to scope around for a composition, it is absolutely gloriously beautiful up here, and I cannot wait to find a nice photo, woohoo, yes, so happy, right there, Straight ahead is Mount Bimbury, ACT's tallest at, I believe, 1912 metres. I would have been doing that, but that area of the park is still closed. So Ginger it is. Once the rest of that park opens up, I'll be going in there for sure. And to your left is the Scabby Range. Some pretty prominent rocky peaks off in the distance. Such a vast wilderness to explore. Once it opens back up, I'll be getting out there and I'll be taking you with me. All right, in a nice little spot. I've got some beautiful rocks just here that I think will be nice foreground for the sunset and open space, not too many trees blocking it. And I've got this nice flat open area here. And I'll have a view in the morning when I wake up that way, which is really nice. And the stars, the Milky Way should be rising just up here. So I might be able to use the tent from back over there, light it up and have that as a foreground interest for the astro shot. So I'm gonna set up my tent now. What I've got here, an Illumina X, uh, which is it's just a cheap, lightweight two-person tent that I bought just to start off with, uh, to test the waters. Uh, to see if I'm going to continue this sort of adventuring, which I know I will, because I love it. Um, yeah. So let's find a bit of flat ground. Maybe further back there. No, I think this should do. First of all, I've got to get the footprint out. Set up the footprint. And I'll probably speed this up for you, because it's probably going to be a bit boring. But I'll set my tent up. And then I'm going to have a beer. I'm gonna have an Anzac biscuit, because it's Anzac day, and I'm gonna watch the sunset. I'm set up camp and it's time to enjoy this sunset. I haven't got much time, so I found a little bit of a comp. It's got some leading lines through the rocks here. I'll um, snap away at that. Should have got here an hour earlier, lessons learnt, but uh, we'll make the most of sunrise and hopefully a bit of astro too. So I'm going to set up the camera and I'm going to have a beer. So the audio here unfortunately failed. But basically, I was just explaining my composition with the light on the rocks there, looking off to the distance of the sun setting. You'll see in the next clip, I explain more. Cheers! So this is my shot here. Woo. I lost my Anzac bickies, so I'm not very happy about that. But I've got a lovely shot here. The, the light's gone now, but we had light on these rocks here, lighting up these rocks. Got a bit of a wedge here, straight over to the sun. 
So I've taken a few shots of the rocks splitting up. I've got a sun star, and now I'm waiting for a bit more light in the sky. For that light to the sky to light up, get that nice pinky hue. And I'll get a few snaps of that too. Be able to blend them together and hopefully get a nice shot. It's very rushed, <laughs> unfortunately, but I'm gonna make a lot more time for sun rise. This next image is the perfect example of when you just need to turn around and there's another beautiful comp right behind you. I was lucky to get the last bit of light with this amazing leading line directing your eyes straight towards Mount Bimbury. The next shot you're about to see, I was very, very lucky to get up and to discover the Milky Way core rising directly above the amazing, famous Twisted Snow Gum. The moon was out so it was a bit tricky to get it, but in post I managed to get this and I'm very, very happy with the end result. Unfortunately, the morning did not go to plan. It got to minus five overnight, and I discovered a leak in my sleeping mat, resulting in a pretty poor sleep. I tried to get a shot of the same snow gum again, but I struggled with the composition. I did, however, manage to snag these two shots, handheld, of which I am fairly happy with. Done and dusted. First successful overnight camp for me using all my ultralight gear. I'm uh, now going to head down to Prize Hut and then we're going to join Stockyard Creek and see if we can find the two waterfalls that I know are pretty close to the track. So let's get down off this mountain and on to the next adventure.
Well, here we are, folks, the beautiful prize hut. Built in 1952, like most Alpine huts, it's just an emergency shelter. You're not allowed to actually stay in there. And uh, it's got two fireplaces, one at the front, one at the back. The front room is where you can stay if you're in a blizzard or, you know, torrential rain, storm, whatever. Emergency use only. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good little hut. It's not the oldest hut going around, but it's, uh, it's a little ripper. So I'll take you on a tour. And that's it. See that front room there, the fireplace is so close, so if you really were stuck in extremely cold conditions, you get that fire going, you sleep right next to it, you'd be cosy as. So yeah, what a nice little hut. Anyway, we're gonna move on to Stockyard Creek now, see if we can find some waterfalls. Let's go. I can hear a distant rumble down in that valley there is Stockyard Creek. If I can hear it from here, then I think we've got a pretty good flow. Not far now until I've got to turn off into the scrub. Hopefully it's not too overgrown. Make my way down to the creek. I have high hopes. Sounds like there's a lot of water. This could be good. This could be real good. <music> I've just turned off and I'm going into the scrub now so I think I've got about maybe a K straight through the scrub hopefully it doesn't get too dense and we should be at the upper falls there we are so close I cannot wait I can hear it it's so close Woo, built up a bit of a sweat. Ooh, I might even go for a swim if there's a big enough pool. There's a little creek though, so I doubt it. Um, oh, and I'm, I found another creek here. I'm just stepping in. Yeah, I'm literally just walking down another creek. I better get out of here because it's pretty swampy. We're so close. Oh yes, we're so close. Made it to the creek, yes! This isn't the falls yet, this is just some little upper cascades. Falls are just around the corner there. How good is this? Absolutely beautiful little creek. These cascades here are so nice, I'm tempted to shoot them, but I won't get carried away. I'll get down to the main uh, upper falls and we'll see what's going on there. We'll check that out. Talk about a picturesque little waterfall. How lovely is that? I absolutely love this thing. It's just glorious. I'm glad I didn't shoot those other falls because I would have got carried away there. This is fantastic. 
beautiful little pool there. I might brave it and go for a swim. There's cascades here that I'm probably going to use as a leading line up to the waterfall. Wow, I cannot wait to get the camera out. Let's do this. Woo, so, I got a couple of shots. I would have shown you what I was doing, but I took my pants and my shoes and socks off and I was in there not for long because it's so cold. Holy dooly. Normally I'd stand in there, maybe even have like my shoes and like some waterproof socks on and stay a bit warmer, but I haven't got much time today. So I just got in there, took a couple of snaps. I don't think they're going to be incredible, but uh, I've got a couple of comps that I'm happy with. So yeah, now I'm going to do something really stupid and brave the cold and go for a full dip. Uh, excuse the undies. I'm going to jump in there now. Just to refresh, I always do it, no matter what the weather. I'm always jumping in a pool because I just love it. So here we go. Well, I'm not going to have lunch there because I'm running out of time. I'm going to sort of go diagonal towards the track but also staying sort of close to the creek. If I can see the next falls I'll jump down in there but I think it's about quarter past one and well, it's like 20 past one and two o'clock sort of my cutoff. So I don't think I'm going to make it down to the next set of falls but I'll definitely come back and film another adventure out to, out to those and uh, the other two falls on the creek as well. What a beautiful little waterfall. Anyway, let's go. Woo! Oh, I made it back to the helipad. Woo, coming back was a lot harder. I took the wrong line. It was much steeper and so much more dense, the bush. Oh, I was getting frustrated, but I made it back to the track, now I'm back to the helipad. Woo, time for a quick late lunch and a coffee, and then back down the spur. Oh, my back. Oh, it's going to be nice to sleep in a proper bed tonight. That mattress last night was rubbish. All right, we're boiling. Beef teriyaki for lunch. Very late lunch. It's about three o'clock. All right, that's it for a bit. Oh. All right, <clears throat> teriyaki beef, let's go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, well I'm going to leave you here guys. Thanks for watching this video. My first solo trip into the bush. <clears throat> Overnight trip that is. I've done plenty of solo trips. There'll be plenty more to come. And gear will only get better. This is just a test really. And I think I did all right. Learned a few lessons, had an awesome time, got some great shots, and I'm really glad I made it to that waterfall. I won't bore you with the stockyard spur, I'm just gonna hit the track, get out of here, get to the car, get home. I'm gonna go out with the old chook and the missus tonight. Thanks for watching. Until next time, catch you then. <laughs>